Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. How you doing tonight? Oh yeah, hot as hell. Well, you're just gonna have to make the best of it, Philadelphia. Yes, my name is Russian Zarlag. The uh, charming voice on the television screen was not telling you a little lie, right here, live and in person, one night only, you see the frail man standing before you, Russian Zarlag, all the way from Tampa, Florida. And I'm glad to be back here in Philadelphia. Last time I was in Philadelphia, some insane street women punched several of my friends in the face. North Philly. Yeah, North Philly, but tonight, I am going to give you not a physical punch, but a spiritual kiss on the cheek. That's what I give back in return for all of that energy. So I'm going to attempt to do that in the next uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, you may choose to remain standing. You may want to have a seat and get comfortable. This isn't going to be a wild uh, dance music performance. There will be no electrifying solos or headbanging moments. It's all about subtlety in the next 20 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, but do as thou wilt. This first song that I'm gonna sing for you, it's a new number that I worked up. It's called Plastic Shock. Shock.
So let's go a little bit lower. And when I say low, I mean a cappella low. Let's strip away the backing tapes and get straight down to the amateur voice underneath it all. And I'm gonna give you one shred of familiarity. I won't bore you with an original composition, born of my own, vague feelings and memories. I'll give you a lesson from the incredible rock and roll songbook of Buddy Holly, a tune he wrote way back in 1950 called Ravon. So here we go. I'm going to try this one more time. Let's see where it goes. It's a 
gotten me real and I'm so glad that you're revealing your love for me. Well, Raven, Raven, tell me, tell me not to be lonely, tell me you love me. Crazy feeling, and I know it's got me reeling. I'm so glad that you're revealing your love for me. Well, well, Raven, Raven, tell me, tell me not to be lonely. Tell me you love me only now. It's a madhouse in here, and there's all steel on the outside. There's no door handles on the inside. Ladies and gentlemen, we reward that kind of insanity right now. And I can't think of any better way to reward it than flipping through the channels and seeing what's floating around in the American subconscious right now. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about my grand obsession, the spare time that's become a passion watching television. So let's see what's going on right now in TV land. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Ladies and gentlemen, we've got, we've got the crimson mask, the ruined t-shirt, the incredible power move. We're getting closer, but let's see what else is on the television. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing here. We are indefinitely getting closer. The grays, the blacks and the whites, the hues, the wet hair, the stalactites, Beauty and the Beast, commingling on one square image. This is very close to what I want to see right now, but I think we should switch one more channel. Aside from that, this is about the last 15 minutes. I don't want to ruin it for you. This is what I'm talking about. Look, I know this guy. How's it going, buddy? Fine. Glad to hear that. Jesus Christ. Uh, this is my friend Bill Stevens. Bill, I gotta ask you a personal question. How did you get on television? I walked in here last night with my girlfriend. Very cool, Bill, very cool. Well, check it out, my friend. I'm in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania right now. Look at this incredible live audience. What do you think of this audience, Bill? Tell me your honest opinion. They look suspicious and bored. That is a 
fair assessment, Bill. That is a fair assessment, you know? That's why I like you. That's why I've been friends with you for so many years. You tell it like it is. And that's what I like. Some people just can't be real with me anymore. But look, I gotta get going with the rest of my show. If I wanna meet up with you later, where can I do that? I'll be at the bank. I gotta ask, what's a guy without 25 cents to his name gonna be doing at the bank? I'll be crawling into the vault and going to sleep. That's what I like to hear. Very cool, Bill, very cool. Well, I will see you in the vault later tonight. Private after party. See you there. All right, look at that. Pretty much that was worth it. What do you think about that, huh? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got one more number up my sleeve to lay down for you. A little bit more mid-tempo, muddy, repetitious underground rock music to slam into your sonic cavities. Can you handle it? I'm not sure, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. So stand by if you think you can take it. And uh, this song that I'm going to play is a number of a new record of mine that I got for sale right here live. If you want to feel the direct gratification of putting Mexican food to the mouth of a youngish underground performer, buy this record, $12. All right, no more fun and games. Time for the real shit. Get that wig on.
Thank you for being here very much, Philadelphia. You've been a wonderful audience. 